Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio, your station for empowerment, music, and talk radio. EB Radio presents Empower Hour with Jerisha. show that shares the stories behind the journeys of leaders, influencers, and motivators. The Empower Hour with Jerisha begins now. Pamela Hankel is the founder of The Purpose Center. Pamela is a mindset mentor, author, speaker, minister, and transformation coach. Her weekly podcast, international radio show, and television show are a lifeline that changes lives and inspires people to discover their individual potential through realizing their purpose by design. Pamela is a natural motivator and has shown many how to find their niche and transform their lives. Although success is an uphill battle, Pamela gives the necessary strategies to flourish, cheering you on every step of the way. Pamela shares from her personal experiences, education, and life as a woman in leadership, utilizing decades of knowledge, taking the approach of, let's have coffee and chat. She will awaken your dreams and purpose by design. Are you ready for Pamela to help guide you? Email us at purposewpamela.office at gmail.com or go to her website at purposewithpamela.com. Hello, hello, and welcome to Empower Hour with Jerisha. I am your host, Jerisha Moore-Smith, and a little bit about myself. I am a best-selling author with over 19 years of combined experience in finance, education, healthcare, business management, development, and sales, CEO and founder of Empower on Purpose, LLC, where we provide leadership training and personal professional coaching and consulting services, executive director and certified coach, speaker, and trainer with the John Maxwell team and owner of Envision Broadcasting Radio Station. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, I'm so happy that you are tuning into the show. I want you to know that I believe you have the power to be great have great and do great. You just have to be willing to unleash your greatness and take action. So on this show, I speak with leaders, motivators, and influencers who want to come on the show to share their stories and stories in journeys to empower the world for growth and success. Now, every week, we take a look at an empowerment quote that we are pondering and how it can empower us for growth and success. And this week, the quote that we are pondering is, action is the foundational key to all success by Paulo Picasso. Now, I want to just talk about this for a minute. I don't think we realize just how important the word action is. Action is defined as the fact or process of doing something typically to achieve an aim or a thing done or an act. I am sure we all have heard the things like camera, action, or action speaks louder than words, or how about faith without action is dead, or take action. I could probably go on and on and on, but the common factor in all of that is that you have to do something. It requires movement on your part. And guess what? When it comes down to success, it's no different. If you want success, you better get ready to do something. There's always a requirement and an expectation. Question is, what does your action look like? Because I dare say that all action that we take is not good action. Now, I can remember years ago when I had an opportunity to speak and pour into a like a mastermind group of about 20 people, I had planned and worked on my content and my presentation and worksheets for weeks and weeks, and I was super excited, or at least I thought I was up until like a few days before, I started letting those limiting beliefs, and you know how we do, those limiting beliefs come in and take over everything to the point that I started literally talking myself into rescheduling the event. I'm like, well, maybe I should schedule this to another day because there was no way 
I was ready. Again, you know how we do. We talk ourselves out of so much. And at that point, I really, really, really felt sick and felt stressed out. You know how we do, like I said. I felt sick and stressed out. Now, what I would tell you is that action, that action was completely led by fear. Now, what I will tell you as well is I didn't end up rescheduling the event. So the event was an absolute success. But what would have happened if I had rescheduled? I wouldn't have faced my fears. And honestly, I wouldn't have been able to connect with some amazing people that day. And it just so happens that one of the people, one of the people that was in the room connected me to another amazing opportunity to actually become a member of a nonprofit board. Now, this is just one story that I can share. Action. When I think about the word action, action is required. It is the key for success. I can tell you that I have not gotten where I am as a successful entrepreneur by not taking action. I make moves. I like to call them boss moves every single day. I am intentional about the action that I take, and I challenge you to take action and be intentional about the action you're taking. Don't let your actions be led by fear and let fear stop you from taking action. I challenge you today to jump and build your wings on the way down. And speaking of jumping and building your wings on the way down, my guest this evening truly understands and knows all about taking action and helping others execute their dreams. She is a mover and taker in empowering others for growth and success all over the world. I am so excited to welcome my special guest this evening, Pamela Hinkle. How are you this evening, Pamela? I am awesome, Jerisha. I'm so excited to be here and share this space with you. Yes. So please tell us a little bit about Pamela and some of the amazing things that you're doing. I would love to. Well, first of all, I am coming to you from Minnesota. So hello from Minnesota tonight, everyone, <laughs> where our weather is up and down and back and forth when it, our springs are like that, you know, 71 day, 40 the next day. <laughs> so today was yeah. one of the kind of in the middle uh, kind of things for our weather. But a little bit about me. Um, I am a minister and I have been working in ministry for almost 30 years, which has given me an incredible opportunity to add value into the lives of so many uh, all over the world. I love the quote from John Maxwell, and it has become one of mine to be the salt and light everywhere we go. And that really is my, my mantra is if, if I can be the salt and the light, if I can add that or I can help somebody else to be the salt and the light, then that's what I'm all about doing. And a number of years ago, I took that bold step, as you talked about, and stepped outside of church walls and began uh, taking a message of hope and salt and light and ultimately purpose by design out into the market place and into different influencer uh, arenas and began coaching and mentoring and speaking and writing on a completely different platform that I would have thought about that I would have been doing, you know, 25, 30 years ago, but it has opened up many doors and opportunities to be a blessing and to be an encouragement and to help change others' lives because all of us, Jerisha, have a purpose by design, something we were put here to do, and discovering it and then walking in it is is where we find fulfillment in our lives. That's where the capstone is. And that's what I love to do is help people discover it and then develop it. 
Absolutely. And I love that. I absolutely love it. And so, as you mentioned, of course, Purpose by Design, tell us more. I know you're the founder of Purpose by Design, but tell us more about, you know, your podcast and, and, and you know, tell us a little bit more about Purpose by Design and how that even, you know, came about. Sure. Oh, I would love to. Thank you for the opportunity. Purpose by Design. I can remember uh, sitting out on my deck in the summertime of a few years ago and really feeling that tug on my heart. You know that there's more. And how do I, where do I, how do I, where does this even begin? You know, like you have that burning desire, but you don't know where to start. And I just sort of, you know, stepped out literally in faith. You talked about, you know, just uh, action. You said being faith or fear. And I thought, oh, my gosh, it is so true. Our actions are based out of faith or based out of fear, which comes back to our mindset, right? And what we are entertaining and thinking on. And I can remember going, oh, I know that I am to take this message of purpose out to the world. And I just need to have the thought, the intention that I'm going to step out in faith and do it. And I then hooked up with John Maxwell and his team, uh, hooked up with thinking into results through Bob Proctor, and began to develop a network of people that could help me obtain my goals, but then also those connections that would come through my podcast, that would come through courses, that would come through uh, different classes that I would be a part of or that I would be leading where doors would open and eventually led me to the Power Voice Academy with Mr. Legendary Les Brown, who I can say I'm so proud and honored to say that he is my mentor and is, uh, has taught me so much and ha- leads by example, uh, not just in his ability to speak and teach, but leads by example because he is all about providing salt and light to the world around him. And many doors opened for for myself to step in and say, hey, you have a purpose by design. I don't think any of us have to settle for purpose by default, that we just end up there, that we can be intentional and go after that call on our lives, that design, that divine design that has been given to us, and we can search it out, and we can mine for it. And then we can create it. We can co-create that. We can be, do, and have anything that we want. And it's just finding that right person, that right team that will be your cheerleader, which is what I love to do is cheer people on and help them mine that out and then run after it and empower them. And so Purpose by Design was birthed out of that. I said I was sitting on my deck and I would writing and praying and just having what I call powerful think time, you know, just to really get quiet in my heart and think and say, where do I scratch this out? How do I begin? And then just taking those steps of faith, stepping out in faith and, and turning, I like to say, turning doorknobs, Jerisha, you know, like, does this door open? Mm -hmm. Does this door open? And then running after them when they open. And it's been amazing to me if we will be intentional and take those bold steps, uh, God and the universe opens up those doors and those arms wide open to us because there's, it's not a secret. There's a design, a purpose for each one of us. And when we begin to search that out, what we're searching for is searching for us. It comes to us. Does that mean we don't have to work for it? No, of course we have to work for it. But realizing that it's all there, like the carpet, the red carpet will be rolled out for you. That I have walked it. I've walked that out and been, oh my goodness, this is for real. There is a purpose by design, not by default for every one of us. And I just have been taking that, those steps of action, as you said, day by day, Mm -hmm. and the doors have opened and I've been able to pour into the hearts of so many and see people all over 
the world uh, become transformed and going after the design for their life. It's been so exciting. That's how the podcast came to be. I didn't know anything about uh, having a podcast, Jerisha. I just took I took a master class that was four hours long and then took the plunge, kind of like jumping off the side of a pool and plugging your nose, you know, and going in. As you said, you grow your wings on the way down, and it's been quite an experience. It's led to a, a television show that I will have coming out on the Inspire channel, an exposure network that will be starting in May. For me, it is going to be May 14th. I'm so excited. This is the Pamela show. Who knew? When we just take those steps of faith and, and walk it out, the doors open because there is a design. And if you just want to do good and you want to be the salt and the light, Man, it's what the world needs right now. And so I just encourage people to go for it. Just go for it. Absolutely. I love that. That is so important. You mentioned so many great nuggets, but I really, truly hope that all everyone that is listening, that really they were able to capture that. Because like you said, it's all about the action. We have to be willing to, you know, jump and build those wings on the way down as you Mm -hmm. mentioned, with just sharing with us with the inspiration behind Purpose by Design, God, he's going to open up those doors. That is so, so very important for everyone to really understand. And she, you know, Pamela just shared some of the amazing things that is happening and upcoming for her. And if she hadn't have been willing to say, you know what, I'm going to jump and build my wings on the way down. We don't have to know everything about everything. And often we just have to be willing to be willing to show up and say, you know what, I'm going to just let go of the fear and decide to push forward. So that is so amazing. You also mentioned some really great, great, amazing leaders, Don Maxwell, Bob Proctor, and Les Brown. Now, tell us. Who has inspired you the most in your life? And I don't know if it's one of the one of them or someone else, but who has inspired Pamela the most um, in your in your life? You know, when I looked at that question, because I knew that might be asked tonight, I thought, how do I even answer that? Because God has graced me with so many incredible leaders, even yourself, Jerisha, you were just so inspiring to me. I look at you and I'm like, this woman is a, is a, is a go-getter and, and it just runs after it to help others. I mean, I, there's so many incredible leaders that have been divinely directed into my life. And, and so when I came back to that thought of who has inspired me, I, I have to give the credit back to to heaven. I have to go back and say, I got to God be the glory uh, that heaven gets all the credit because heaven uh, has directed me to some incredibly powerful uh, leaders in my life, to the Les Browns in my life, uh, to the Bob Proctors, uh, John Tallarico, uh, to the Jerisha Moores. I mean, I mean the John Maxwell. There's so many. Uh, the late Joe Jordan, who was inspiring in my life um, for many, many, many years. There's so many that I could that I could just I I would raise up and say they have been inspirational. But ultimately. At the helm of all of that, I recognize and realize who has directed my path and who directed their path to me. So I would have to say, heaven gets all the credit, Jerisha. Absolutely. And I say amen to that because I completely (laughs) would say the same. My goodness, I absolutely love it. And yes, to God be the glory. We give him all the glory, the honor, and the praise. For everything. Oh, how amazing, how amazing. So we know that in life, of course, we experience some successes and wins, but there's also those failures that, you know, truly teach us those important lessons in life. Can you share with us uh, perhaps a lesson that you learned from failing forward? (laughs) Well, number one, when you fail forward, get back up. 
mm-hmm. get back up. And Les Brown says, when you fall, land on your back so you so you so you're looking up. <laughs> so it's not only are you getting up, you fall looking up, you know. Um, mm-hmm. And I think for me, a big lesson was to stop doing and start being. And again, that's not, con- you know, going against action because action is purpose driven. But action at its core is intention and intention at its core is mindset. And sometimes we can do and do and do and think we're doing all the right things and maybe we are doing all the right things and then it's like banging your head against the wall. Why isn't this working? Why isn't this happening? What am I doing wrong? And sometimes, at least for me, one of my biggest takeaways was a lot of, it was my thinking, my stinking thinking that needed reprogramming. And if I go back to scripture for a moment, it says to renew your mind, right? To renew Mm -hmm. your mind. And it also says that faith comes by hearing. And so I challenge myself, what are you hearing? (laughs) What are you hearing? And and, and the number one person you're going to believe all the time is yourself. So if what is inside my head is not going to propel me to the next place in my purpose by design, I need to get rid of it. And it's not enough to just have that once a week affirmation or confession or declaration or whatever you call it, right? It is constant, everyday repetition to change that intention, to change that core belief so that whatever upstairs in our brain that drops down into our heart, our subconscious that whatever that is that's trying to stop us, that we change that belief. And the minute I really began to say, you know what, I'm taking time and just focusing on this, on these confessions, on these affirmations. I made a life script where I literally am talking out in current current day, what is it that my dream is? Not talking about it in the future, but uh, this is what's happening in present tense in my life calling things that be not as though they were. This is what's happening in my life, seeing it, living in it, allowing myself to, as I say it, experience it and feel it and be in that present moment. Even though I might not be having everything manifesting in my faith right now, I need to have that feeling and that belief connected on the inside of me so that I can pull it I could pull it into my current reality because everything that we're looking for is looking for us. And so I had to realize that failing forward is part of life. And a lot of it for me had to do with stop beating myself up, stop thinking I wasn't enough, stop thinking that there was more I had to do or that I didn't know the right people or I didn't have the right background. I didn't have the the right upbringing. I came from this side of the tracks or whatever it was. Who I am, Pamela, is enough and that the that God and the universe have a purpose by design for me. And I needed to align with that in my head and heart. And I needed to walk with that confidence. And when we walk with that, when we fail forward, we just stand up and keep going. We just shake off the dust and we keep going. It's a total different intentional mindset. So for me, what I've learned is I need to get back to the basics of who I am, whose I am, and what I'm here to do. And if that is my grounding I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep getting up. I'm going to keep climbing up. I'm going to keep growing my wings on the way down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say has been one of my big lessons. That's good. That's so good. I love that. I love it. I love everything that you said. And I (laughs) absolutely think it's so necessary, especially during a time where I feel like there's so many people that are broken and hurt and just going through so much and so just those empowering and encouraging words um just you know just it being able to be shared is is truly amazing and so inspirational for us all yes 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 absolutely absolutely love that 
So you are also an author. So tell us more about Pamela, the author. (laughs) Oh, well, my first work, I worked so hard on it, uh, Jerisha, and then I launched it and my whole family, including myself, we contracted COVID-19 and I had the books in my office and I couldn't even send them out because I couldn't touch them. And I couldn't have somebody come and take them. Talk about failing forward, right? I couldn't even set them outside of my house and say, could somebody please ship these out to me? I had to get on the, uh, I had to have somebody help me reach out to people and say, you know, once once, once this is over, we can disinfect the books. (laughs) Send them out to you. Oh my gosh, what an experience that was. But it taught me uh, uh, trust and to and to um, to appeal to uh, a higher way of thinking, you know. And so mm-hmm. my first my first work was captivated, which came out of me when I went through a serious back injury. I was not expecting to have an entire summer where I literally I don't want to say I was un I was unable to walk. I wasn't paralyzed, but I I could not walk. I had for a while, and then I had to relearn again uh, by using a, a walker. And, and, and I'm a very uh, strong, independent person who wants to give and serve. And it was really hard to not do that. It was really hard to not be able to cook for my family. It was really hard not to take my children to the parks and the beaches. It was really hard to not be serving in the capacity that my heart wants to, to help others. And one night I was on the phone with my mentor and I was, I was, I was, um, I was having a hard night and in, mostly emotionally. And he said to me, Pamela, you have to walk this one out by faith. And I mm-hmm. thought, that's all you're going to give me? <laughs> where, is the, where is the empowerment in there? Aren't you going to like pray something or say something that, and that was it. And I, um, I hung up the phone and I thought, well, I can be captive to this injury and to all that it's doing, or I can be captivated as an audience of one. And I can grow through this and have a message of hope at the end of it. And that was the creation the co-creation, the birthing of Captivated. And and so that is my first work. Um, my second one is going to be released here in the next couple of months. Probably, I believe it's going to be June. I don't have the exact date because Mr. Les Brown is endorsing it and writing the foreword for me. And I'm waiting on that to come back. So I'm very excited. And that is simply Purpose by Design. And it is a uh, it is a workbook. It is a journal. It is my 25 plus years experience of helping develop mm-hmm. leaders and training people, and it's all in this book. And uh, it, it's it's compiled, and I'm so excited about it because I know, like you, Jerisha. We have spent years learning, and there's been so many bumps in the road, so many things that we didn't have to learn the hard way, but we did. Mm -hmm. And if there had been somebody there in the capacity that you are there for others or I am there for others, coaching and mentoring and speaking into their lives, if we had had that, there could have been so many things we didn't have to learn the hard way or we could have buzzed through it. And, and now I feel like I have a responsibility to pour all of those lessons out and, and teach people, at least give them the opportunity to learn uh, what I have learned and pour all of that out into courses, pour it out into books like Purpose by Design and put it out there for folks to take hold of. I know for me, as I was prepping and stepping out in faith and stepping into this, this phase of my life, books became my best friend. And mm-hmm. you can learn so much through somebody else's life. I can say that people like John Maxwell and uh, Terry uh, Foy, Seville Foy, and, and, and other great leaders that maybe I, I hadn't met 
and maybe I still haven't met in person, but I know them through their books and they trained me and they taught me and I absorbed it like a sponge. And so for me, putting books out there that will encourage and uplift and inspire and empower other leaders or people that are like in that training ground or taking from one step to the next or changing careers. That's what I'm all about. So Pamela, as an author, I like to put my, my life out there and share my story and share the lessons that I've learned and, and how I've grown. And, and, and I hope and pray that it empowers somebody else to, to take that next step, that next intention um, in, in their walk, because man, there's so much out there for us to do. There's a whole wide world out there mm-hmm. and everybody's voice matters. Everybody's story matters. And we can't, we can't change the world all by ourselves. We need people mm-hmm. to step up and take their place. There's your listeners right now in your community. You have a purpose by design. And there are people that need you and need your voice and need your story. And if somehow uh, a book that I write empowers somebody to take that next step, <laughs> I'm just ecstatic to know that they're, that they're stepping out. So that's a little bit about me as an author. And I thank yeah. you for giving me the opportunity to share that on your platform, Jerisha. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. I absolutely love it. I am over here. You can actually see the smile. <laughs> Or here's the smile I should say in my voice because I just I absolutely love it. It's so nice and it's just truly a blessing really to be connected to um, you know, someone such as yourself that you I mean, we both share the same values and the same mission as far as really empowering others and and so I just you know, just lit up when you were talking about both of your books and um and you know, really looking forward to your your you know, your releasing your book, um, Purpose by Design. I absolutely love it. And one of the things that you said that really, you know, really touched me and kind of struck out, um, or stood out, I should say, the most is that books became your best friend. And, you know, that to me is just, you know, whether you're listening to books, reading books, I definitely do both. But Mm -hmm. books, I absolutely love books. And I'll tell you from way back when, when I was younger, I didn't, I did not love reading or anything like that, but truly, truly books have become my best friend as well. You also mentioned how, you know, sometimes we are going through those bumps in the road and, um, you know, it's nice to be able to have someone that's going to empower us along the way. I would Mm -hmm. love it if you would share what makes you feel inspired or feel like you're being your best self? Uh, I love your questions because they are, they themselves are empowering. They themselves are empowering. Your questions are, and I so appreciate that. Well, for me, um, my mornings are huge. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times, when I say that, people think, yeah, well, look at, you know, this in your life or that in your life. I I have not always been a morning person. <laughs> and and I, for years, would have the intention. Uh, I can't even say the intention. I would say, uh, you know, yeah, I'm going to, you know, get up and take a walk and, you know, do my devotion or have my confessions. But there was a place. Uh, you know, game time, crunch time Mm -hmm. for me where I I had to be all in, you know, and if I'm going to do this thing and I'm going to lead people and I'm going to influence, then I have to be all in. And I know that when, when I don't have what I call my hour of power, and it doesn't have to be an hour. I just think hour and power rhyme. So I say that it could be your 15 minutes, you know, depending upon how your day is working out. But for me, I know that if I don't plug in right in the morning, that the day catches up to me quick and I can find myself frustrated. Um, And once we're frustrated, 
uh, that vibration that we're living in, you know, if you want to call it that, or your thought mentality, whatever words you choose to use, they just go, they just drop. And then it's like, you're just trying and you're behind the eight ball and just trying to catch up with the rest of your day emotionally and mentally, let alone what your schedule looks like. And so mm-hmm. I got tired of being of being this way and then trying to put on this happy empowerment face. I want to be transparent and real. And so I, you know, it came push, push came to shove crunch time. It was like, no, Mm -hmm. an empowerment routine, a morning routine is imperative. And, oh, I can't get up that early. You know what? This is what I said to myself. So I'm saying it to me. You can say it to you if you want to. I said, Pamela, you can't afford not to. And that's where it came to for me. And so what does an empowerment routine look like for me? Well, for Pamela, um, that needs to start by connecting uh, spiritually. So I have to have that spiritual connection, which to me includes gratitude. It includes prayer. It includes meditation. And, and it, includes, um, it includes gratitude. And then from there, it includes stimulating my mind in the right way, listening to those leaders and those teachers. Um, It includes something physical, whether that is taking a walk or it is doing some Pilates or it is, uh, you know what, I have an island in the middle of my kitchen and I can do some squats and hang on to it right there. So Mm -hmm. it's not about, you know, and maybe it is for somebody going to the gym. I don't know. But to me, there is this spirit, soul or mind body connection that when Mm -hmm. I put on my oxygen mask first, right? I mean, we come back to that, uh, that, that silly statement, but putting that on first, then I am better fit for the, to serve my, my God, my family, myself, my community, Mm -hmm. the, the peeps, I like to call them the peeps that I have sent to me that I'm leading. How can I lead when my tank is empty? You got to fill your Mm -hmm. tank up first. You got to fill it up Mm -hmm. first. And, and one other thing that I'll just tag on the end of that, uh, I had somebody about a year or so ago say to me, one of the best things I ever did was I started recording my daily affirmations or scriptures or whatever it was on my phone. And Mm -hmm. instead of having to just commit it to memory, and that's good to do, by the way, or having to have it written down where I had to stand in one place to try to brush my teeth while I said all of those things, I could play it. And I was hearing myself Mm -hmm. say it. Right. And so Mm -hmm. I did that. I said, this is so easy. This is taking all the stress or the feeling of failure out of it because there's my voice saying and declaring these things over myself spiritually physically and I'm and I'm saying it along with myself and guess what Teresa you can do that in your prayer chair if you have one you can do that in the car on your way to the office or on the way to taking the kids to school you can do that while take you can double you can double dose it you can be out taking a walk doing that physical component and and listening to your daily affirmations or your life script at the same time i mean mm-hmm. it becomes a whirlwind of, of just an of easy access to having that empowerment. And if you love Audible, like it sounds like you do and your guests probably do and I do, guess what? You can double it right there. You can be making breakfast for your family. You can be getting ready for your day. And you can have Audible playing that next John Maxwell book or whatever it is that is speaking to your heart, right? So to me, that has been the biggest thing is to own my morning. I like to say this, I won the battle of the bed (laughs) and and it has changed me, Jerisha. And you know what? You do it day by day. You just do it day by day. And, and, and you don't have to focus on six months from now. It's day by day. Um, Mm -hmm. Beat the battle of the bed. (laughs) That has been (laughs) huge for me. (laughs) That's so good. I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. I too am one that, you know, truly stick to a morning routine. So I, I understand completely. And yeah, I absolutely love 
my morning routine. And as you mentioned, you know, so many people, you know, we delay, you know, we may even shrug off our dreams and, and, you know, really just don't know where to start. But the thing is, we have to be willing to start, have to be willing to start. Mm -hmm. And often that really begins with having a great morning routine or starting that morning routine. Oh, I yeah. can't tell you, um, similar to how you said it's changed your life, it's truly changed my my life as well. Um, but one of the things that um, that I, I would love for you to kind of speak on a little bit more is, um, and of course, I know that you have shared some amazing nuggets. <laughs> you share so many amazing <laughs> nuggets. Um, I would love if you would tell us what the empowerment quote. So in the early part of um, the show, I mentioned the empowerment quote, which stated action is the foundational key to all success. Tell us Mm -hmm. what that means to you. I'm so glad you asked me that question. I actually was writing all kinds of notes on it as you were talking about it and (laughs) as you were just inspiring us with that quote and just being led to share and I wrote down some notes. And so what really was speaking to me immediately was about action, that action is on purpose. It's mm-hmm. on purpose. And whether we are, think whether we think we're taking action or not, we are on purpose. Even if it is inaction, it's action. Or exactly. if it's the wrong action, it's action, right? So no matter what, it's on purpose. So if it's on purpose, then what action do you want to purposefully take? And the next note that I wrote down was a new action, a different action begins with a different thought. Mm -hmm. And that comes back to being intentional Mm -hmm. with our thought life, which comes back to that empowerment hour. It comes back to those declarations. It comes back to giving yourself permission to dream. When was the last time to your listeners and your audience that you just gave yourself permission to dream? Now, I'm not saying go back to bed and have a dream. I'm saying actually dream. Like as children, we did that all the time. I used to love to play. I'm going to date myself here, but I love to play Charlie's Angels with my friends. And I was always Cheryl Ladd. (laughs) <laughs> that's who I was she was the blonde Charlie's angel okay so we had so much fun doing that and, and when we were in that playing that that's really who we were Be, that has to get trained out of us to stop dreaming that has to get taught out of us like just learn all of this knowledge and and just store it up and and get an A on the test and then move on with life. No, I mean, that's what happens, right? And then all of a sudden we have all this knowledge and we don't know what to do with it anymore. We don't know how to dream with it anymore. And so I I would say, number one, you have to give yourself permission to dream. Mm -hmm. Jerisha, to your audience right now, if it was, if, if, if this was New Year's Eve of 2021 and this was the best year ever for you, for your listeners, and we were all sitting around together and we were like, this has been the best year ever. Why? What made it so grand? Think mm-hmm. about that. What would that look mm-hmm. like? And that's your dream. Begin to dream. And now what is it going to take to make that dream come true? Not the what, the how, not, not, not the how. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Not the how. And not how am I going to get, not how am I going to raise that money? Not how is that, just are you willing to do the work? What mm-hmm. does that look like? And now you need to align your thoughts, your intentions with that so that you can begin to make a different choice, a different action. Our thoughts inevitably end up in the results of our lives. Our thoughts become our actions our actions become our results. And so if we want different results, we have to take different actions, which means we have to think differently. So as I was listening to you expound on that, I was so moved and I was like, yeah. And it comes back to me, my thought life. Is it based Mm -hmm. in fear? You shared your story about how you were based in fear in that one moment and how you almost didn't go. 
Mm-hmm. Or are we based in faith? In faith meaning we're stepping out and doing it by faith. It's just, you know, uncompromised faith. I'm stepping out and I'm doing this. I'm not going to be in fear. And and that is step by step. And if we are led by our dream, those are going to be maybe baby steps and sometimes a big step like, Pamela, go take this master class on doing a podcast. I didn't know anything. If I had listened to my thoughts on that, oh my gosh, are you crazy? You don't know anything. Blah, 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 right? <laughs> I would, I would have, I would have never done it, let alone now be ready to getting ready to launch into television. Like that just, that's all based on not stepping out in fear. Right. So when we're going to take action, realize you already are taking action. Where, what are the, what are the results of that action? And if you're going to change that action, you're going to have to do it on purpose. And it's going to start in between your ears. It's going to start in your intentions, in your thoughts. That's where it begins. Think another thought. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. And I I have to go back because I meant to say something about this before. When you mentioned about the affirmations and actually, um, you know, not just necessarily reading the affirmations, but actually reading them and recording yourself. So years ago, I actually did that same thing. And I still listen to those affirmations today. And I was like, yes, absolutely. That is just, it's a huge nugget, a nugget. And I really hope that the audience, the listeners out there are, you know, really taking heed and taking notes because you are definitely sharing some amazing, some amazing wisdom and nuggets for us all to really move on and take that action. So if you had one piece of advice that you could give all of the listeners right now on how they can empower their own growth and success journey, what would that be? One nugget. Well, Mm -hmm. I would wrap it up with this. I would say first, you have to have a dream. You have to give yourself permission, as I already stated before, that's where it starts. And then find that person that will see your vision and run with you. That was key to me. And my husband, of course, partnered with me in that. But I knew I needed someone that was further down the road on my road that could Mm -hmm. uh, help me produce the vision and help me to have the right mindset to take the right actions, right? So finding that mentor or coach. Now, maybe that's a one-on-one person. Maybe it's in an online course or program. Maybe it's in books. Maybe it's through a John Maxwell program or a Bob Proctor program. For me, it was all of the above. I, I immersed myself in communities of people that I could unite with. Because sometimes you can feel like that, you know, I say eagles soar alone, right? And so sometimes mm-hmm. as leaders and influencers, we can end up feeling like, oh, where are the other eagles? Uh, I, I often joke and say the turkeys flock together, but the eagles soar, the, soar alone, you know? So <laughs> finding those communities are so important. And finding that those mentors, or I even will go as far as to say it's that mentor, that person that sees the best in you and will encourage you and even if I can be as bold as they kind of slap you upside the head sometimes and give you that like that reaffirmation come on let's go you know that to me was life changing and so empowering to have someone say to me what was needed to be said at the right moment at the right time and and not being afraid either Oh, here we come to mindset Mm -hmm. to invest in yourself. Oh, gosh, as as a mom and as a wife and 
as a minister, I didn't know how to invest in myself. I mean, I'm talking about monetarily here, invest Mm -hmm. in myself. I could invest in my kid's education. I could invest in this missionary. I could invest in this and this business plan, but to invest in me, that was like foreign. And Mm -hmm. yet when I took that step of faith and said, I'm going to be intentional about this. I'm going to change this thinking, thinking, I'm going to try this. I'm going to be all in. And if it works, I'm sold. Well, not only did it work, I became one of those mentors. I became one of those coaches. I still have my mentors and coaches and I'm so grateful for them. And I invest in myself with them continuously. And I will for the rest of my days, but it it so changed me that I took up that position of saying, I want to help other people change themselves when they're ready to make that investment. And I know that you do that as well, that you are a success coach, a transformation coach and mentor to so many. And to me, that next to saying it's okay to dream and begin to write it out, write it out on paper, put pen to paper, then find your support team, find that mentor, find that coach, find that support system and go for it. Invest in yourself because the, the dividends are eternal. I mean, they just keep giving. It's the gift that keeps giving, Jerisha, all the time. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Oh, so amazing. You are absolutely amazing. You are and amazing. I- oh, my gosh. You are amazing, <laughs> Jerisha. You are amazing. Isn't she amazing, everybody? <laughs> my goodness. Absolutely. This has been truly, truly just a blessing and so amazing. So if the listeners are wanting to stay connected and support your efforts, can you share with us how they can do so? Absolutely. So the simplest way to do that is to go to my website, and that is www.purposewithpamela.com. That is the easiest way, and from there, you can connect to all of my social media as well, because everything's right there. Um, I have a free gift for anybody that wants to take advantage of it at the website. There is an empowerment routine that you can download to help you uh, begin to create and discover your own. Um, It's a template and you can use mine or you can create your own. And I want to offer that to everybody that is listening. And that would be the easiest way to stay connected. And that way I'm not rambling off a bunch of different handles either. Um, You can find me on all social media, uh, looking up my name or looking up Purpose by Design. But just to make it simple, Purpose with Pamela, find me online, find my website, and you can track me down from there. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Like I said, you have been very inspirational and empowering to not just myself, but I know to all of the listeners. So I thank you again My goodness, truly, truly amazing, Pamela. Thank you so much for being a guest on the Empower (laughs) Hour with Jerisha show. Thank you, Jerisha, for having me. I am always empowered being with you, and I consider it a privilege and an honor. Thank you. (laughs) Oh, you're so welcome. So, listeners, if you're interested in starting your own show or being a guest on the show to share your amazing story, and journey to equip, encourage, and empower others for growth and success, please visit www.envisionedbroadcasting.com to learn more. Please tune in next Wednesday where you will hear an amazing story and journey from another leader, influencer, and motivator. Until next time, stay safe and be blessed. Thank you for listening to the Empower Hour with Jerisha, where Jerisha speaks with leaders, influencers, and motivators who share their journey in personal and professional growth. Empowerment tips, lessons learned, and keys of success that will empower you to your best self. Follow Jerisha on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.
at Jerisha Moore and visit www.empoweronpurpose.com. Remember to be intentional and be empowered and have a great day on purpose.